Hello YouTube, how the devil are you? Me back with uh, this month's update of what I've been doing basically. <laughs> Playing, watching, reading, doing, yeah, and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, first off, we'll uh, get into what I've been doing all that. This month's PS1 racer, can you fucking think again? Eh? Mine went blank. Is Mile Milliger. So if you want to get involved, that's the game. Got until the 15th of September. Not a bad game, it's not. Um I've done a video on it. Gary Gill, I've done a video on he's he's knocked my video right out the park. He did fair play, absolutely smashed it. Right then. Um oh yeah, fucking when was it? It's Friday today, Friday the 30th. He no yes, yeah, sorry, Tuesday. Sat there in the kitchen working. Had like a little skinny bar, skinny something they called. Eating it. And I thought, fucking hell, that's hard. What's that? What I got for now? Fucking filling come out. Honestly, oh, looking enough touch wood. It's not painful. So, for the dentist, 16th September. I can't get in till. So, he said if it does start hurting, I'll start putting it as an emergency. But yeah, touch wood at the moment. Fine. Yeah. Game on the background with a Chase HQ. Had a couple of goals with yesterday and uh thought yeah, let's have a let's have a bash of it. So when I do this and have a little go there, and then I gotta go and post something out to someone and play it forward. <laughs> yeah, anyway, right then. So before I get into the games and all stuff like that, I start off with what I've been watching. Now I did go away on holidays. At the end of July, going into the start of August, and went on a cruise. And fair play, they had a great selection of films on a cruise. So we'd come back, and uh, we the missus would chuck a film on, because the in-laws come with us. So, so we had two rooms. So Ellie, my daughter, stayed with the in-laws, and Tyler, our son, stayed with us. So yeah, we come back. Nora said we had a little drink and a. Tyler would go up to the buffet end and get us like a couple of plates of food now, which was great. So we just sit in there and watch the film. So films we watched on there, watched, um, oh no, they had a cinema on it as well. So we watched two films in the cinema there. So we watched the new one, Kong vs. Godzilla. I'm not sure what it is. The name of it, I can't remember, but it was really good. Fair play. Another one, Argyle, Samuel L. Jackson, Henry Carvel. There's Henry Carvel, isn't it? And yeah, really good, fair play. And then on, like I said, just in the room, I watched Night Museum, Big Trouble in Little China. Hard to watch that. The A Team and Free Guy. Yeah. Then I watched a thing called, when we got back home, then watched a series called Safe. It's, um, I'm not sure his name. The guy who starred in Dexter is in a good series, that is fair play. Watched Mind Hunter, another series. Good, very good, fair play. I'd watch a new Axel F. Do you know what? That fucking dog, right? Being quiet for a good hour. As soon as I come up here, I'd start to offend. It fucking starts barking again. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, I watched Axel F. Like I said, I really enjoyed Axel F. Like I said, just like a new Beverly Hills Cop 1, really, innit? Watch Double Impact. Watch Best of the Best. Watch The Quest. To watch Transformers, the 1986 movie, love that. Watch Rambo First Blood, I'm trying to go through the Rambos. I love the first one, it's just so. It's not all out of action, that's just really good story. I like that. Then watch The Boys, really enjoyed the new series of The Boys. We've gone through the Final Destination films, me and my missus, love Final Destination. And then the other night, then we watched Rat Race. Like I said, we used to love that. When it first come out, and it's still good to watch now with Rowan Atkinson. So, like, games I've been playing. This one was great because I took my PSP. I like, so obviously got all like Mass System games and that on it. And in the middle of the Mediterranean, one Saturday morning, and I completed Wonder Boy and Monster Land on it. <laughs> I had to do that. Then I played a good bit of Micro Machines on it. Great. Or oh, for OG Duffy's. Game challenge of the month was Tapa, so I played some Tapa. Now this one was brilliant. Really enjoyed this game. Morbid, it was called. It's in our Club 52 game. 
of the month for I think all the eight bit boy UK picked it. And like I said, I've sold the single meshes now and I come back off all these. So I can have two picked at the start and Eddie put it in there. Oh, it's, it's on um, the PlayStation Store for £2. Honestly, when I'm bored, they're perhaps the best £2 I've ever spent in my life. Absolute fantastic. Really, really good game. Highly recommend trying that. So it's more bit than the Seven Acolytes. Yes, I completed that. I really enjoyed that. I've been playing some Cuphead. I've my ass kicked on that. You know, the set he was a Switch. Obviously done some Colin McRae from last month's PS1 Challenge. Done a bit of uh, Michael Milliger. Only a little bit of that because like I said, I just want to fill. I just want to do it before I've had too much practice, if that makes sense. And then I completed Red Dead Revolver the other day, which is still a great game to play now and still holds up really well. So yeah, that's done. Right then. So I've had some stuff gifted to me. But before I get into the gifts, I'm going to show again what I, if you haven't seen the video, what I had out of the Play It Forward box. So that's what I chose out of there. So four free Zelda, and it's a four swords. It's Game Boy Advance clips. Sorry if our dog's doing your head in. Fucking, it does my head in all the time. So that's that, what I had out of there. And then, and I fought. Ross had put these in for me, but he hadn't, so obviously the box is just about to leave now. I've wrapped it all up, so like I said, if anyone, you will get to come off the case, then eh? I'm going to be keeping Tony Hawk's because I haven't got it and never played a Tony Hawk's game. But if anyone wants more zone, just let me know because I got that anyway. Like I said, I only kept it because I thought Ross had put it in for me, but he, <laughs> someone else had put these ones in, and I'm going to play. Ooh. So yeah, if anyone wants WWF Warzone, just let me know and you can have it. So I should have just put it back in the box really, shouldn't I? And these are the three games I had off Ross where he put in for me. Obviously knows, loves some PS1 racers. And he knows now, definitely when he's turned up and he got up to play. <laughs> so this one looks great. It's my only double case game I got. That's Hardcore 4x4. Before we get into that one. Now this looks quite good. Probably not going to be because it's a Midas game. But as I said, I got a good few Midas games now and I'm quite tense if I can get a set. So that's truck racing, sorry. And that's total driving. Now I was going to buy this as well. This looks really good. It's a lot of uh, like some different styles of races now. So yeah, really looking forward to getting into that one. So cheers for that, Ross. And then we pop them there. Right then, gifts I had. It was. I think it was back in June, I had a message, Flash, James Flashback, TNT messaged me and said, um, oh, can you get in contact or can I send your contact details on to um, James Flashback? I said, yeah, of course you can, mad. She messaged me, so I got a little something to pop in the post for you, mad. He said after, it was a video I'd done and it was the video, no top game on any on every console at the home. So I was going to go on again then. Eh? Wouldn't be fucking one of my videos if I wasn't going on would it? Um, yeah. And he popped this in a post and I'm well happy with this. Honestly, well happy. Because I am, hopefully, well, not hopefully, I will. By the end of the year, I'll have a SNES. And he popped in the thing. First off, we got a note. Hello, Steve. After our chat in the comments about you getting a SNES, I thought I'd get you started with a few loose cards that I now have boxed on with space take it easy mate and up the reds all the best james <laughs> so what james said me like i'm well happy with this i've never ever played a killer instinct game but i love the black card on it and oh do i knew his name it's stuck my mind now what's his name Shit. answers in the comments if you get erect uh if you get erect fucking hell what have I been thinking of? If you get it correct, you will win a date with Metropolis. No matter what he says. <laughs> Next one up. Like I said, I love this game. Before I played Link to the Past on the, on the Switch online, 
this was my favorite snares game and i still love it now i think it's brilliant this game and that's starwing really like our game and this one is one why i've got the snares mini and it's on there but oh, just one day i just you've got to get these games up now i've got a snares and not any cards you've got to get them now street fighter 2 turbo look at that and eon learn sagat and you are right it's nice to actually see them two on a thing no one said like ryu or bison and that it's actually nice to see some different characters so yeah that's what i had off james and like i said be a link to james's channel in the description be a link to ross's channel in the description we've got another gift here which come from quite away from portugal so you might know us off so yeah cheers for that james thanks for that <sighs> Hey Steve, once again, sorry for the delay in sending game. Obviously, like I said, this come off John 1MX to go. John, don't have to apologize. Nobody's you're sending someone, something, so, when you're sending something to someone for free, I don't fucking got to apologize. <laughs> once again, sorry for the delay in sending game. You will also find that there's an extra game included with the, what I got there, map free. So does anyone know what it is yet? As mentioned, I already have the Xbox version. I really don't know or remember how I got the other game. And strangely, how the other game came along. Cover and manual, and oddly, they both by midway. <laughs> both in face shape, and I did test them and both run. Have fun, buddy, and see you at Blackpool, John, 1MX to go. So, John, cheers for this, buddy. I mean, I've got to pick up a little something for John, which I'm going to get in. And like I say, I haven't ordered it yet or found one, but he'll definitely have it by the time we get a black A little bit of whales. <laughs> yeah, so the game, first off, because I got one and two. I didn't have this one. And this is one with race as an arrow. So obviously, Matt, Midway Arcade Treasures, free. And on you, we've got San Francisco Rush, Hydro Thunder, Hydro Thunder. Race driving San Francisco. 2049 <laughs> Super Off Road. Oh, I didn't realize Super Off Road was on ya. Oh, fucking love Super Off Road. Badlands, Stun Runner, and Off Road Thunder. Oh, I'm sure I got Off Road Thunder on a Dreamcast. James, Games on Bird Room sent me. I'm sure you, James, sent me Off Road Thunder. Sure he did. Anyway, so that's that, doesn't it? And the little Brucey bonus is a game called Haven. So there's a Midway Arcade. I'm going to leave that in here for now, Haven. And Joe, I had not heard a thing. He's a man, well, Nick Raven as well. I had not heard a thing about Haven. Like I seen, I thought, the hell's that? So I went and had a little um, look on YouTube. And favourite, it does look really, really good. So I'm looking forward to getting into that. I was going to say, I haven't even noticed if I've been doing a um, little intro thing. Soon have. Oh, yeah, it must be. Yeah, cheers HQ. Right then, so now let's get on with what I've picked up. So, got one book. I had to buy this book when I seen it. And it's a Hayes Manual. And it's the Hardback Edition. And it's the Driving Games Manual. This is awesome. Like I said, it's only a couple of pounds. And like I said, look. So it gives you like driving tips and all that, like corner things for games. But also got like different games and that all in you. Like I said, it's really, really good, really too. Let's have a look. Oh, you are, look at that. So VR Racing and Ridge Racer and all that, look. Ridge Racer 2. The loads of Ridge Racer 2 in the arcade. Let's have a look. Oh, let's have a bit of pull. There we go, I knew that was an ass of page I was looking for. Look at that boy, bit of pole position. <laughs> Happy days. And yeah, I didn't pay that for it. I will try and take that off after. It's a little bit, you know, four pound, I think I paid for that, four or five pound tops. So yeah, well happy with that. Right, so we got some DVDs to have a little look at. We got some games after this then. So, first one off, we're going to see X, me and my boy. 
went to CEX before we went on holidays. And I said, yeah, I know that was July, but I filmed the July one before we went. And I've seen this in there. And anyone who watched Channel 80 knows I really love Van Damme. And I have watched it this month and asked the quest. Now, it's not it's not a bad film. It's a bit cheesy. Don't you know? It's like very similar to Bloodsport. Not as good as Bloodsport. But it is worth watching. Like I said, it's probably one of the last ones I'd say before. Yeah, went a bit. Is it like straight to DVD or video, you call it? Or was it sudden death or in hell? Anyway, The Quest. Great film that is. And next one up, one of my favourite Van Damme films of all time. Like I said, I could never find this quite cheap for what I wanted it, uh, what I wanted it for. And I just went on Vinted. Like I said, first thing I ever bought off Vinted. And it was uh, Double Impact. And this is fantastic condition. Like I said, I love this film. It's so good, fair play. And it's the guy, oh, what's the name of the film he's in? Salem's Lot. I've got to get Salem's Lot as well. The guy who plays Uncle Frank. Obviously not Uncle Frank, oh, but uh, if you know, you know. Yeah, highly recommend Double Impact. Then went on Vinted again. I mean, after this one, for ages. Every time I go on CEX, it's not in here, I thought. Don't really want to pay like three pound to have it fucking thing when it's only a pound DVD. And it went on Vinted. And I think all in. What was it? Was it two pound odd? I think it was something like that anyway. That but it wasn't just best of best. There was so much I'd watched and still enjoyed. Come with best of the best too. So well happy to get that. That one is but it's just the three of them in it. Yeah. Sean Penn. Oh, what's his name? Philip Ray is it? Yeah. And Eric Roberts. Now I have watched this, but only once I've ever watched it. And from what I remember, it was good. I think it's more to do like Philip Ray's family in it. I think it's something like that. I'm sure his brother pops back up in it as well. The one who played Oh, not the bad guy, but no like the big bad in the Korean team. Generally that's them. And last DVD I got to show you. Bought this off eBay. Like I said, there's only a couple of seconds left, and I think I paid. Should really just double check what I said. I think it was about three pound. Because the first series I just I just missed it because I had it in my watch list, but I forgot about it. And I had an old case by the time I looked at it, it'd gone. But I had this in it as well. I managed to catch this one. Like I said, it's brand new. And that's Night Rider season two. Like I said, I haven't opened it yet. Yeah. Really looking forward to watching a bit of the the Hoff, old Hassel Hoff and Kit. So yeah, like I said, for a couple of pounds, brand new, can't fault that. Right then, what we got now, we've got some games. So, like I said, I really love Dead Space, big Dead Space fan. Like I said, even enjoy number three. Perhaps not the first half of the game, but the second half, I thought, went back to more like what Dead Space was. Oh, it got a bit dark, is not it? Sun must have gone behind a cloud. Not too bad, much fucking sun. But anyway, yeah, for know that uh, similar to Dead Space, this Callisto Protocol, uh, but a fiver I think this was. So, yeah, um, yeah, I'm playing it now actually, not this minute obviously, and I'm about two hours in, and it's not bad. Very similar to Dead Space. Obviously, it's the same people who made it. Apparently, is it? Must be a different company name. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It seems a bit slower than Dead Space, but yeah, it's, it's okay so far. I'm enjoying it. Next one up. Oh, who's I watching? Wiz. Is it the Wiz? Wiz Gaming? I'm sure it's the Wiz. I know he's, I watched his um Switch collection. And I wanted this game a while ago and I totally forgot about it. And he put on, he's like, oh yeah, it's only about like 12. I think he said it was like 12 quid in CX, 10 or 12. And anyway, I went on it and it was only 8 quid, so I thought, oh, happy day. So I ordered it then and asked Jitsu Squad. I said, Larkham, Larkham slash beat him up by looks of it. Yeah, like that's gonna focus. Come on, you bastard. Oh. Anyway, yeah, it looks really good at us. So I'm looking forward to getting into that one. 
the last two to show you and not this one the next one if i say holy grail you're probably gonna think fuck that's expensive and that but it's not it is i'd say a grail as that thing whatever fucking grail means and i don't fucking really know but the last one's a very sought after game and no i'm not gonna put in a fucking title fucking grail game and that nonsense fuck that um anyway before i get to that i'll tell a story about it if i get it Order this when I was on the boat. We had a little bit of internet. Internet, like I said, was very on and off. I thought I'm not fucking paying the price for it. And again, it was a nice summer. It was just get in, not have to fucking. Not have my phone going off with football stuff every fucking two minutes. So yeah, so we only had internet when we was on like port days. When we were getting off the boat. And it was nice actually. But, you know, one of them days, you know, it's like got to have a little uh, nose on Facebook. On Facebook. On eBay. This come up and I think it was four pound all in. There was no manual, but really nice condition. The card and the game, and I've I've been after it for a while. But I've been looking at it, but for this version because I don't like the other art, the artwork on the other version. This one come up on obviously speedball. Yeah, I really like the artwork on that, so I'm well happy to have that one. I picked up number two speedball two last month. I think it was right then so this one right the grail this is gonna have a two on three shouldn't i um yeah it's one of the first games i ever bought with my own money i've wanted it for ages and the last why i just didn't buy it because it's only cheap i think i paid seven pound for this all in seven pound all in yeah definitely seven pound all in i think as you can see Atari 2600 game and this was the first game I ever bought my own money or like it was birthday money but first game I ever purchased myself then like went to the counter and picked up with Miss Pac-Man and that is Galaxian and this looks in really nice condition fair play like I said I haven't took out the sleeve yet but I absolutely love this game and our artwork as well it's so simple but it's just brilliant wouldn't mind having a little poster of that, I'm like an A4 poster or something. Like if I can get one. Yeah. That. So many memories and nostalgia attached to that. Like I said, I had a uh, Army Down 2600 Junior off my uncle. I had a couple of games, would have been a couple of games with that. I can't really remember what ones. I remember what Atari 2600 games I played. But I can't remember what ones was with it. All I know is this and Miss Pac Man. I remember buying from Bullies. Like I, said, I still remember going in there, picking them up, going to the counter and paying for them. So yeah, Galaxian. Absolutely love that game. Like I said, not just for nostalgia. I play it every now and again. Now it is still great to play. Now I think it loads up really well. Anyway, that's uh, enough rambling and waffling off me, guys. Hope everyone's okay. Hope you're all going to have a great weekend. And... I'll catch you in the next. Oh, yeah, before I go, I just want to say, yeah, I've done some great VRs this month. So, who's the two I've done? Roger and Tony. So, yeah, I've been brilliant seeing everyone's VRs to them. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, all the best, and I'll catch you in the next one.